got something exciting. Something real exciting. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Black ice toasted waffle air fresheners are in stock, guys. We just got them and they're on the website right now. Go down below, cop one. The scent is really, really close to Black Ice. I think you guys are all gonna like it. That's what everyone voted for on my Instagram. So they turned out so good though. Look how good these things turned out, guys. They look amazing and they'll look amazing in your guys' car and also keep them smelling good. So link down below, check them out. Let's sell them all out, guys. Wow, it is bright out here. Deep cleaning the KBP TL Type S is today's video. You guys see the title. And of course, the last touch is gonna be the toasted waffle air freshener so stay tuned to the end guys i'm trying to make the process of building this and making this thing as clean as possible as fast as i can but what's slowing me down is companies not responding to emails days after days and then not ordering parts in time and then waiting for them to come in so everything's kind of been slowed down a little bit i definitely want uh oem window visors got a little nick in there right here and it's definitely a nice touch to these cars everybody loves them i got myself a little head start pulled off the rear seat bottom piece the floor mats Passenger seat carpet is filthy on this thing should be looking like that right there There's some like white powder mold underneath the passenger seat Everything up top though seems to be in really great shape just needs a good wipe down and protectant today I actually had an interior detail scheduled and the lady had to cancel because she forgot her kids had school today So we decided to do an interior detail on this thing I've been staying pretty consistent with detailing though and making that side money doing it. So uh, every break I get I get to work on these things We've just been detailing all week long and I love it. So let's get started into this one First things first is the floor mats, so once we extract them, they can dry in the sun. There's a red stain on this front one, if you guys didn't notice, but can't get that one out, but all of the other ones seem to come out really clean. All right, so next we're gonna move our attention to these seats right here. They're browning up, and I'm probably not gonna get rid of all the brown. I'm definitely not gonna get rid of all the brown, but a lot of dirt likes to trap inside of these little crevices, and they just need a really good brush. The crevices down here on the bottom and the back piece, uh, give them a good vacuum, and then you're ready to start brushing them down. All I'm gonna use is some all-purpose cleaner and a leather brush from Adams. Um, also, everything I'm using, you guys see me using, I have an Amazon store. You can find the link down below, and I have almost everything that I use for my detailing, interior and exterior, all in my Amazon store. So just check it out, it's nicely organized, and you guys can find all the stuff that I use and recommend for detailing. I'm gonna work kinda fast, cause the sun's directly on it. We're next gonna put some leather uh, conditioner and cleaner on it. So we'll spray it on there. Let it sit for a minute or two. After it sat for a minute, we're gonna rub it in and rub it off with another clean towel. This is gonna soften up the leather. Just like that, she's clean and she's shining. Definitely did not remove all the brown inside, but you guys can see the leather right here and the leather right here in the sun. 
definitely shining. There's a quick before and after of this back rear seat. Here's the before, and that's the after. To the touch, it's a lot more soft. It's time for a good vacuum inside of here. I know the sun is kind of ruining it and making it really bright in these spots right here. But we're going to go through with this tip right here. And this is the only tip I use for every single car detail. Uh, it's nice and small and does a good job sucking everything up and reaches all the small spots. So, um, yeah, highly recommend this with the extension hose on my rigid, small, portable vacuum. And, yeah, let's get sucking. As you guys can see we're having a really hard time with this spot right here and i want to show you guys one of my biggest tricks i use for especially trunk carpet just because trunk carpet's always thinner than the carpet inside the cabin for whatever reason the biggest hack is get a drill brush with this attachment right here and you can either go like this and just tear it up as you put the vacuum right next to it or if you don't have a drill brush you can use a regular brush and brush as you suck and it takes a little bit more effort, but it gets the job done and cleans carpet really good. So check it out. Oh, I forgot to turn on the vacuum. Definitely didn't get all of it out, but got 70% of it. And if I keep working at it, I can get all of it. So that's my favorite hack when it comes to vacuuming. Next up is these dirty pedals, guys. Uh, we're just gonna spray some HPC all over them. And then we use a stiff brush to agitate it. the extraction of the carpets in here and the reason why I do carpets before I do any of the plastic and everything is because when I'm using the drill brush it splatters around and then if I already had those wiped down I have to wipe them down again so carpets first and then we do the top pieces you guys can just see how stained this front driver carpet is right here driving without mats I highly recommend a pump sprayer. It makes the process so much faster. And especially like when you're doing carpets, to spray down. See how barely anything comes up when you're using a sprayer. You gotta have it tilted like this, but then end up spraying up there. So highly recommend pump sprayers. Here's a spot cleaner I'm using today. Um, I need to get a higher end one for when I'm doing like other people's jobs, but this one does a really good job. Just got it from Home Depot, 100 bucks, and it does the job, so highly recommend it. Half this water we sucked out from the mat, so does a good job. You guys ready? Sheesh! <laughs> Even hit the sides. Got the sides over here. Um, still definitely not perfect. I can't get right behind the uh, gas pedal and some tight spots inside here, but a million times better. So let's hit the rest of the car. Let's 
came out amazing guys check it out Time for the doors and the center dash area and steering wheel and all that stuff. All I'm going to be using for this is some simple green all-purpose cleaner, a very soft detail brush, and two rags. One for wiping down when it's wet and one for drying it off. We just wrapped up. We're gonna keep all the spare parts back here. Check it out. Interior, I, like I said, interior cleaned up really good with this car. Besides the seat rip, like the interior is almost in mint condition. I'd call it mint, so look at that, guys. What a view. And we can't forget, guys, this is now the garbage because we've got the new toasted waffle air freshener. Sheesh. You can't lie, that goes hard. Look good right there. Guys, cop them down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I mean, car cleaned up so nicely. I'm thinking about taking this thing out right now, making a POV video. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna be making it before you guys even see this, but probably gonna see me stuffing some rags in there because I already got my first complaint. Uh, they came out and said, isn't that illegal? So, uh, it's pretty loud. It sounds like a rocket ship when it's inside of this thing and it's obnoxiously loud. Ordering some OEM visors soon, as soon as some companies start responding back to me. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.